Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 6 in Kushto Query Language playlist. In this video, I will be explaining about batches in KQL. Uh, batches means running uh, multiple table expression statements in a single query actually. So I will practically explain with example where you can make sense of it. And uh, I also discuss about two small examples like how we can name tabular results. Actually, it's not expression, it's a result how we can name tabular results and also how to share the calculations across the multiple uh, tabular expressions. So firstly, if you have seen my previous videos, you already know what is tabular expression statement. So any statement you write in Kushto query language called table statement expression actually. So for example, let me go to uh, Kushto Explorer. Please watch all my videos in the playlist so that you will get a most sense of it. All the videos are in sequence order. So I in my previous videos, I shown how to install Kushto Explorer and everything. So firstly, understand what is tabular expression. Tabular expression means take any table as an input and execute some query and uh, uh, get a table output back. For example, this is a help cluster which I am connecting from previous videos. Under sample databases, I have a table called Strom events. So this table has data related to the storms like uh, wind weather and uh, all other storm related events which happened across the states in the United States. So you already know this storm events table right from your previous from my previous videos. So if I am executing any query on top of that. So for example, this is like a input query. So on top of this, maybe I am taking uh, where state equals to New York. Okay. So let me write this here, New York, okay. So now if you see here, this is input, then a pipe symbol, then we have a operator called where, and then we have a condition. So this expression will return back another tabular output actually. So and every tabular expression should end with a semicolon. So this is one tabular expression actually. So tabular expression will take a table as an input, and it will return back also one table as an output. So when I execute this query, uh, I'll closely observe the results what I get here. You can see my query is executing and you can see I got results back. You can see under results tab, if you have closely observed here, see this is a results tab, right? So this is a results tab. Under results tab, I am able to see my output, right? So that means my output is a table and also for this entire expression, my input is also a table. So tabular expression usually takes a table as an input and return back another table. And uh, it to apply any kind of operator on top of it, we need to use a pipe symbol. And every tabular expression will separate it with a semicolon. So when you say multi batches, that means when you have multiple tabular expressions together and you are running them all in a parallel, then that is called execution of a batch. Okay, more than one tabular expression if you are running it. So for example, this is one tabular expression. And let's try to use another tabular expression actually. So what I want to do here is I am getting a strom events where state is New York. This is one tabular expression. Then again from the strom events table, I want to take like where state equals to. I want to get like Florida. Okay, so Florida state events. So I have two tabular expressions here. So this is one, this is one. And this entire thing is a single custo query. Okay, so in one query, I have two tabular expressions and let me execute this. So this is called batch execution. More than one tabular expression, you are running it. So now when you see the results, you get two results actually. Observe the results here. Uh, let me move this up. Under results tab, if you see, I got this output where state is New York because that is the first tabular expression. Then I got something called primary result two. That means the second output. Here also I got one table where state equals to Florida. So this is called like your execution of a batches and whatever the outputs you get it here, right? Like under results tab, under primary result two tab for all these tabular results, I can give a name. So for example, I don't want here it appear as a results. It's I should see like a New York data and here I want to see like a Florida data. So how to get that? So how to name your tabular result for that? What you can do for your expression, add another pipe, then use as then I am writing a name in because I want to have a name with a uh, spaces also. So I will be writing here like a maybe New York data. So this is the name I am giving to for this result. So the moment I execute this query now, it won't show results here. It will show like New York data. 
similarly for this also let's give a name like as then in double quotes maybe florida data okay so now let me execute this query and closely observe the results at this time so let's wait for the execution to complete here once the execution completes if you see the results here it says new york data here that means i am able to name the tabular result whatever i am getting and here it says florida data and in florida data you can see we have florida data and in new york data we have you can see new york data okay so like this we can name our tabular results when you are executing batches not only that when you are executing batches you can pass your uh, calculations or one expression output to the multiple expressions let me show you how it is so for example here under stram events table maybe i want to get like, like i want to group by that means summary okay so don't worry uh, what is this summarized by how to use it and everything i will show in our next videos or future videos so i am grouping by state this stram events data and i want to take the count into a column called n so let's take count of every state that means events count like what kind of events are rain winter storm or whatever it is all that count i am taking and i am grouping by states so when i execute this query for every state what is the count like count i am using in column name called n uh, it gives the event uh, count here for every state so this is my output right for this expression so what you can do you can use a let uh, and also about let also we will discuss in our future videos i am storing this output or this calculation whatever you can say i am storing it into m so now m m represents this entire tabular result whatever you are getting okay so this one i want to pass it into the multiple uh, tabular expressions then what you can do create another tabular expression here add a semicolon here now here directly refer that m so this m is a output of this uh, query so that that came here now this is the entire thing as a tabular expression so i am adding a second tabular expression here from this m take where n that means where n count is greater than 2000 so only get me uh, states where count is greater than 2000 that's what i am doing here or i can do one thing let's name it like event count so and here also i will use the event count where event count is greater than 2 uh, greater than 2000 get me that so that means in this first tabular expression i am getting one result that getting passed here and on top of the, that i am applying a operator to filter the data so let me execute this and let's see whether we will get an output where states event count is greater than 2000 see we got it so i can pass in a batch to the multiple statements as well or multiple expressions as well what i can do add a semicolon let's write another expression here where again same thing like event count may be less than 10 so i want to get the states where event count is less than 10 so let me execute this entire query now i will get two results as you are expecting first result where count is greater than 2000 we got it and if you see the second result where count is less than 10 so this is how you can share your outputs or you can share your calculations also to the multiple expressions in the batch so that's it in this video i hope you got it like what is batch batch means execution of multiple tabular expressions and also we can name the output of any tabular expression as i am showing it here and also you can pass the uh, calculation or output of one query into the multiple expressions below so i hope you got an idea thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much